Hi, this is Congressman John Culberson reporting to you on Congress's work this week. The Senate Finance Committee passed out a conceptual health care bill, not actual legislation, which is dumbfounding to consider. A committee of Congress having passed a piece of legislation as important as this without actual statutory legislative language, but they did. They passed out a series of concepts, which is on its way to the Senate floor. And don't be fooled by their comments in the press and publicly that this bill does not contain a public option because the Democrat leadership of the Congress is utterly and totally committed to passing a public option, which will result in all of us being sucked into the government-run health care program because if the government is deciding what to pay for and when to pay for it and how much to pay for a procedure, then they're in control of the procedure. That's just common sense. So the government will be in control of our health care system if this terrible public option plan passes. It will not only suck everybody into the program because of the uh, private sector can't possibly compete with a subsidized government health care system. Why would you go across the street to buy a Buick for twice as much money if you can go buy the Chevrolet for half the money? It's just common sense. And employers, of course, are going to be forced to make the hard decision to, in order to save money, uh, at a time of recession, at a time when the Democrats are raising taxes and driving up the cost of doing business, the uh, businesses across the country are going to have a hard choice to make. They can pay an 8% penalty uh, uh, by dropping all their employees' health care coverage and dropping all their employees into the government system, or they can continue to pay 12, 14, 16% of their costs in health care premiums. That's a difficult choice for a lot of employers, but they're going to be driven into dropping a lot of employees into the government-run system. So for all of those reasons, everyone in the country is going to be sucked into this health care system eventually. Oh, and by the way, H.R. 3200, which is the bill that Nancy Pelosi wants to pass, is up on our website, culberson.house.gov. You can actually see it in detail and comment on the bill section by section, sentence by sentence, or word by word, if you wish. I crowdsource the bill. But that legislation, as you can see on page 16, contains language that says that if your private insurance policy uh, is in existence on the day the bill passes, and if at any time after that day your policy changes in any way, the premiums increase, the coverage changes, you're immediately dumped into the government plan. So for all of those reasons, we will all be sucked into the government plan. Now, H.R. 3200 exempted members of Congress. We conservatives offered amendments to include members of Congress. If this is such a great idea, let's put Congress under it as well. The Democrats rejected that amendment. There's no citizenship verification under the bill. We offered, as conservatives, amendments to require verification of citizenship so illegal aliens wouldn't gain access to the government-run health insurance program. The Democrats rejected that amendment. We offered amendments to make sure that health care was not rationed and uh, particularly when you got uh, older, for older Americans, that amendment was rejected. As a, your congressman, as a fiscal conservative, I continue to stay focused on uh, the uh, good alternatives that we've put together to reduce the cost of health insurance by allowing businesses to pool their resources and negotiate collectively with the big insurance companies to bring down the cost of health insurance premiums. By making insurance affordable and portable is really what we need to stay focused on. By passing tort reform to give doctors nationwide the same malpractice protection against frivolous lawsuits suits that they have in Texas, that will bring down the cost. We've seen it in Texas. In fact, uh, the American Medical Association estimates that about 450,000 uh, Texans, low-income Texans, today have health insurance because the cost of uh, practicing medicine dropped so dramatically because of the tort reform we passed in Texas that it allowed the it allowed uh, about 450,000 Texans to get insurance who did not have it before. And do doctors are moving into Texas because we are protecting them against frivolous litigation. Tort reform, portability, affordability, and making health care affordable and controlling its cost is where my focus is as your congressman while protecting the greatest health care system the world has ever created. I'm proud to represent the Texas Medical Center. I cannot imagine any worse nightmare than turning the federal government loose and putting the same people that run the post office in charge of MD Anderson Hospital would be a complete disaster. So I'm fighting as hard as I can to stop this uh, HR 3200, the health care program that the uh, Democrats are pushing. 
That's in the Senate right now. I do expect them to push it through the Senate. I think we'll ultimately be successful in stopping it in the House. Secondly, very quickly, and I know I've gone on already five minutes here, and I appreciate your patience. You know, another day, another outrage, the latest outrage of the liberal leadership of the Congress. Today, the House passed for the first time in American history. The Congress of the United States has officially endorsed the idea of bringing enemy soldiers captured on foreign battlefields to the United States for trial, giving enemy soldiers the full protection of the United States Constitution, giving terrorists captured in Afghanistan or anywhere in the world Miranda rights, the full protection of the Constitution, uh, the right to confront your witnesses, etc., making our soldiers in the field policemen who would have to collect a chain of evidence and preserve it, who would have to read Miranda warnings to their uh, to capture enemy soldiers on the battlefield. It's insane. I cannot imagine our soldiers landing at Omaha Beach reading Miranda warnings to the Nazis that they captured. I don't think Sergeant York, uh, when he captured those 200 Germans in World War I and won the Medal of Honor, Sergeant York was not worried about, nor should any American soldier ever have to worry about, the constitutional rights of an enemy soldier. It's nuts. Uh, those constitutional protections apply to us. All of us living here in America, whether you're, if you're a citizen or a person in the United States committing a crime, you're entitled to those protections. Never in our history have we ever given U.S. constitutional rights and protections to enemy soldiers captured on foreign battlefields. It's another example of the left-wing lunacy of this majority in Congress. Terrorists and enemy soldiers will be able to lawyer up at U.S. taxpayer expense. I'm sorry I've gone on a little bit too long. This is a long video blog because so much is going on. I appreciate your patience in listening to it. I know I should only stick to one subject in these things, uh, but it's hard. And I am doing my very best, always, have been, always will. I'm often disappointed but never discouraged in this job. I keep my sense of humor. And remember, I'm representing Texas, and this uh, too will pass. We're going to get through this. It's the greatest country in the world, and we'll survive this. And I really appreciate the friendship, support, the confidence, the prayers that you've given me as your congressman. I'm immensely proud to represent you in Washington uh, and uh, working hard every day to let Texans run Texas and preserve those core American values that made us great. Thank you very much.